Hi. I'm sure it'll take a while for people to trickle in. I doubt it. Welcome, everyone. I'm sure we have more people trickling in.
All right, I'm going to give everyone a couple more minutes. Um, are you speaking, John? Because you're still muted. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> so what I was saying is um, it's nice. It looks like we've got, you know, a pretty big group, but small enough that we can actually talk um, if we remember to unmute. Um, so that should be nice. Um, if this group gets a little too big, which it might, we'll just start another cohort, split up. Um, but we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. So I guess for starters, welcome. Um, this is the first week for this new uh, book club. I know some of you have done other book clubs and I, probably some of you have not. Um, the general idea, well, um, first off, this thing that I'm presenting is available at r4ds.io slash ps4ds. I'll go ahead and put that into the chat. Um, so you can read there, follow along. This is where, um, ideally, where like our weekly notes will end up in here. All right, so the idea is each week, um, a volunteer will present a chapter from the book or part of a chapter, which is something that we'll discuss in a minute. Um, I highly recommend signing up to do that because that's definitely the best way to actually learn the material is to be responsible for teaching it. Um, Usually a uh, presentation can be like a review of the material. It can be kind of just like discussion topics. Um, sometimes a demonstration would make sense. So when we get into some of the modeling stuff, maybe showing how to apply that. Um, we've got some info in the GitHub repo that's linked in here about how to do that, how to actually use Bookdown to like set these things up. 
And um, as it said, as everyone joined, these meetings are recorded and we post them on our YouTube channel. So just be aware of that. All right. Um, this book has some sample code. Um, so I went to that repo and I set up this package, our package, to install all of the packages that you need for the sample code, um, with the exception that they use uh, DMWR, which is uh, a different books package, like the package that goes with a different book. And that doesn't exist anymore. But there's DMWR2, which is just the second edition of that same book that exists. I don't know. I assume it'll probably work for what they wanted to do, but we'll find out when we get there. Um, but also just, you know, you can go to the repo and follow their instructions for installing things. Um, there are two editions for this book, and I don't know what everyone has. So I guess, does anyone have the first edition? Um, you can say in the chat or just kind of, well, if you wave, I won't necessarily see you. But um, if you do, I, I actually have both. Um, Okay, Francisco has one E. Um, they're very similar from what I can see. Um, I, I'm trying to keep notes in this section of what I find to be different. The main thing is they added Python uh, examples in 2E. Um, and then they did some slight name changes and they added a few, uh, mostly subsections, but they actually did some uh, chapter two now talks about chi-square distribution and F distribution. First edition didn't talk about those. So um, if you're working from the first edition, there might be, you know, some people might mention something and you'll wonder why you didn't see that. That's why, but it doesn't look like it's really that different. So for example, they added this probability subsection to this to chapter one, but they it's just like, oh whoops, we never actually defined what probability is. Let's, let's talk about that um, in case you don't know what probability is kind of effectively. They don't even mention it in the key ideas for that section. Um, so they clearly just kind of were like, oops, let's make this a little bit clearer. Um, chapter four, they added further reading, which they have in like every other section. Um, I think they just, I, they forgot to print it or something. So I think a lot of this stuff actually might be available online as errata to the first edition. So, all right. Now the big one that we need to discuss is the pace. The chapters of this book are really long, um, but they're not super dense. Like they don't have a ton of different concepts in them. I mean, there's, you know, there's a fair amount going on, but I think I'd like to cover one chapter per week, but I'd like to hear what everyone thinks about that, especially as we go. Um, I would say let's let's cover chapter one next, like mostly next week, and then we'll see how that goes. Like if we don't make it through chapter one in one week, then obviously we'll plan to split everything up. Um, does anyone have any thoughts on that? Feel free to unmute and just chime in. Anyone? Let's let's try it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Excellent. I think we can, you know, keep in mind being flexible. The first chapter is like pretty easy and quick. Uh, right. So if it continues being like that, then it's fine. But I even in the first chapter, I was thinking that there's like a lot of links. And so if I were to like really want to like learn some of these things, especially like later on, I probably would end up spending more time going through the links as well. Um, where they like, there's probably like, you know, three times this width in like the links that they've given. <laughs> so. Right. That is true. Um, I, so that's very true. The other side of it is I noticed like, and this isn't a flaw, but they, they have a lot of information in the chapter that isn't really that important to absorb. Like they have, I mean, it's not really flowery, but it's, it's more explanation then, you know, they talk all about um, Tukey and kind of the history of EDA, but that's not really a vital thing to get out of the chapter. And so there's all this stuff that's kind of around, there, there's framework around the actual learning. And 
I'm, I'm not insulting that at all. I really like that they do that, but it's not, it doesn't like fill your brain as you're trying mm -hmm. to learn this stuff. I, it feels like. So I, th I think part of why it's long is they have a lot of extra information, which actually mm -hmm. can help you remember things, just having all those connections, but it's not like a lot of the chapter doesn't make it into the key ideas that they put at the end of every section. And I think that's a good thing as far as being able to get through the chapters relatively quickly. Um, so yeah, we'll see, we'll see how that goes. And then the only thing, other thing I have planned for this week, because I want to give everyone time to, to get set up, um, would be, I'd like to go around and as many of us as are willing, uh, introduce ourselves and why we're reading the book. I'm John Harmon. Um, I run the R4DS online learning community. So you might know me from there. Uh, and I am a uh, data scientist at Macmillan Learning, um, along with Jonathan Bratt. And I wanted to read this because my stats, like I had stats 30 years ago, and I use stats, but I don't feel like I know stats as well as I should. Um, so yeah, that that's me. Uh, who wants to go next? I'll go next. Since you already mentioned, so yeah, I, Jonathan Bratt, I work at Macmillan Learning now in the same group as John Harmon, which we were kind of trying to do for four years. So that recently happened. And in the same kind of way, I, as a data scientist, I have to use these ideas a lot. And I've kind of picked up a bit here and there, but I don't think I've ever had more than about half an actual stats course in my whole life. So I'm continuing to try to fill in the gaps in my background. And that's what this book will, will help me do. I'm happy to go next. Um, my name's Stan Piotrowski. Um, I'm a cancer geneticist. So I work primarily with genomics and bioinformatics. Um, I've taken a couple stats courses in grad school, but again, just kind of using this book to fill in my, uh, my knowledge and yeah, fill in those gaps. Great. Oh, go ahead. I can I can go next. Maybe I'm uh, Anne Anne Hofrichter from Germany. You can also call me Anne. <laughs> um, I'm also working more like a bioinformatician um, data analyst in a research group that's working with neuro neuronal stem cells. And I'm basically the only person in that group who is working with data and on the computer mostly. Um, and that's why also I'm always the go-to person when it's coming to stats, but my stats are also, yeah, I had one course in university and that was it basically. So um, yeah, I would like to know more about that so that I feel more comfortable also telling the other people what to do with their data. <laughs> That's great. I, I'm hoping some of us can feel more comfortable from one another of, yeah, I do this stuff, but I don't feel confident that I actually know it. Um, so <laughs> it's good to hear. Uh, I'm going to put you on the spot, uh, Sh Shamsuddin, because you help, you made this club exist, so you need to introduce yourself. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank you, everyone. Um, my name is Shamsuddin. I'm from Nigeria. I'm a graduate student, and I'm doing NLP. And I was like, every day uh, I use machine learning and some stuff, but the stats, the stats at the background, I just quickly um, go to Google, learn about some stuff. I don't have um, some kind of formal training in start, but I used to have um, a start course for like 10 years, which is mathematically dense, not apply start that really see how it works. So um, I just want to feel that background um, toward my application in uh, machine learning and uh, data science. Um, yeah, thank you. Oh, and I have a question for you, Shamsuddin. How do you manage to read all of these books? And you're in all the book clubs. <laughs> that gives me a four and complex and I haven't gotten this book yet, but I was like, I am not going to miss the cohort one for whatever happens now. <laughs> Yeah, um, I mean, the stats feel like something that I really need to have. Um, um, yeah, so, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I am also impressed that uh, you find time for all the clubs, but I'm <laughs> glad, you know, I'm happy to have them running. Yeah. 
and one good thing I about if i want to join all of them i can't read the book but i would probably just join the <laughs> join the meeting and we hear from people what they're doing yeah, yeah on that note if you ever miss um we try really hard to get the the last week uh video up on youtube before the next week we're a little bit behind on the videos right now but that's the plan so you know if you can't make it um check the videos and actually uh ping me if the video is not there and you have a little bit of time maybe you can trim the beginning and end off the video and get it up on our youtube video or youtube channel um but yeah so those those should be available to kind of catch up as as you need to do so Hey everybody, Scott Nessler here. I've been in a couple of the other book clubs with John and a few folks, so I recognize some faces. Um, I come from an operations research and stats background, so I'm pretty comfortable with all the material in the book. Um, I lead a, a master's program in business analytics here at Notre Dame. We're actually considering using this book as a text for a course that doesn't currently have one, just uses lecture notes from a faculty member. That's my interest in going through it in detail to decide if we want to use it. So I'll come at this maybe from a different perspective. That's, that's great. Um, very happy to have you in the club for that reason. All right, anyone else? I can go next. Okay, Morgan, go ahead. Okay, no, no worries. <laughs> um, hi, I'm Morgan Grobenberg. I'm the retention specialist at Northeastern State University in Oklahoma, USA. Um, so I actually got my undergraduate in applied statistics, um, but that was back in 2012. And then after that, I got a job in information technology and accounting which means I didn't use stats in that job. And I did that for two years. And then I was a homemaker for six years. So if you can guess, I didn't use any statistics in eight years. Um, but now I've been hired because of my statistics background. And uh, I would like a refresher. <laughs> Excellent. Well, I'm glad we can provide that. <laughs> All right, who else was about to go? Yeah. So, okay, I can turn on my video. <laughs> uh, hi, everyone. I'm Priyanka. I'm based in Boston, Massachusetts. Um, I have been in analytics industry for a while, but like John, you were saying, I think I, I do stuff and you know, people feel so good about, oh, the magic of stats and data science, but I feel like a imposter syndrome that, you know, yeah, I'm doing it, but I, I don't know. <laughs> I maybe I don't know if I'm doing it right. So, uh, and then there is FOMO of so many book clubs. So like I mentioned earlier, so I want to be there and, you know, make, make, make sure I, I learn from the best um, community. So, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, hi everyone, uh, I'm Brian. Uh, Tegomo, I, um, I'm a physician and uh, epidemiologist with the CDC uh, Foundation. I currently support the state of Nebraska's COVID-19 response, involved with every piece of its uh, COVID-19 response. Um, I am not a data scientist. I've just learned about R in the last one year and have realized that it has so much power and have been trying to figure out ways to integrate R into everything that I do. So I'm really glad to be part of this team. I'm also interested in the statistics space. I haven't been using statistics per se. I've spent most of my time in clinical practice and uh, other things, haven't really used the tools of data science and statistics. So I'm really glad to be part of this. Um, hi, um, my, my name's Sarah. I'm based in the north of England. and I'm a, I was a surgeon, but I retired recently. Um, and for many years, I've been collecting data on our, on our bowel cancer patients. And I've got an enormous data set. And for decades, I wanted to do something with it and I've never had the time, but now I do. Um, and everything I've ever been taught about statistics has gone, gone in one ear and out the other. Um, my solution to which has been buying books, most of which have remained unopened. So uh, I'm hoping, and I've just found out about R in the last couple of months, which has been a complete revelation. Um, so I'm hoping that I'm embarking on a new career. That's, that's great. Very good to hear. 
Oh, cool. Um, hi, I'm Katie. I'm a fifth year PhD student in neuroscience at MIT. Um, and I also like just started using R within the last year. Um, and previously in my like research and stuff have like only had to do very simple statistics and like just was like, oh, this is what the last person did when they did it. I'll just copy that and I'll do the same, you know, test. Um, but I really want to learn more about it and understand why I'm doing things. And also I would like to uh, eventually learn more machine learning uh, things. So I think stats are pretty necessary for that. So yeah, I'm enjoying the, the book clubs. This has been very helpful. Great. Hello, I'll introduce myself. I'm Zoe Turner. I work in, the, uh, in Nottingham in the UK, in England. Um, I'm a senior information analyst, but my job is being reviewed to data scientist at the moment. Sarah and I have actually corresponded through the NHSR Slack group, <laughs> the big R thing going on here. I studied philosophy, so no stats there. And I think I've done a bit of stats, but mainly epidemiology type things with public health. And again, you just follow what other people have done before you. So I've done a couple of book clubs with our NHSR Slack group but they're very statistical and I just went along not really understanding much. I mean, I can get away with saying I don't know what the p-value is because I didn't cover that in philosophy, but at some point when you have that as your job title, you've got to know what you're talking about. That's great. All right, Jim, you, you lit up. I think you're get ready to go. <laughs> okay, yeah. Um... Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Jim Groom, and I, I work in industry in the Chicago area. Um, I, I work with a, a large group of engineers, um, um, you know, crafting things in R. I've done that for three three years or so now. But uh, I find myself in a position, like others have mentioned here, where where uh, uh, being a resource for um, uh, statistical type. Uh, um, questions is has kind of put me in a position where I I, I uh, um, uh, may, may be the, the person in the room to ask that question but I, I, I don't necessarily feel the most confident about um, you know the way of explaining that answer and and so I'm, I'm hoping to learn some things about how we learn statistics and and, and and maybe can recommend this book for for, for others uh, these clubs have been uh, very helpful for me in, in another forum. So I'm looking forward to this. All right, anyone else wanna go? Uh, yeah, I'll hey, go. hi everyone. Oh. Oh. Do, you want, do you wanna go? Go ahead, Sheila. Oh, hello, uh, I'm Sheila. I'm based in Belfast in Northern Ireland. And I previously had been postdoc and as like immunologist, but now I find myself in industry as a data scientist. And I need to know what this book for similar reasons so that I can talk the talk, even though I have no idea at the moment. So, yeah. Uh, hi, everyone. Um, my name is Juan. I'm from Canada and I work in real estate and I've been doing a little more of machine learning here and there. So I'd like to, uh, you know, touch base on my you know, uh, university degree that I did uh, two years ago. So I think this book up will be nice. Excellent. All right. There are a couple of people who haven't introduced yourselves. That's fine if you don't want to. I'm not going to call you out, but oh, I see an unmute. So I'm going to shut up. I'll, I'll go ahead. Thank you. Uh, my name is Francisco and I am a data scientist at a Silicon Valley startup. And to be honest, I have a bachelor's degree in engineering. I never had to deal with statistics in depth. And a lot of times at work, I don't know what people are talking about. So that's, that's why I'm joining. <laughs> All right. Um, this is the first club we've done for a book that is not available free online. Um, I wish it were. Uh, I just want to say, you know, for the sake of R4DS, if you happen to find one free online, a version of this, um, that's fine, but 
let's not talk about it. <laughs> uh, this is not a resource to find such things. I don't want our videos to get pulled or anything like that. Um, yeah, so that's all I've got for today. I didn't want to do the chapter yet because I know some people still have the book coming. Um, I've made it most of the way through the chapter, but I didn't actually make it all the way through. Um, so it, does anyone have anything else they'd like to bring up this week? Because if not, we have uh, part of the hour back to, to work on reading the book. <laughs> hey, John, what's the process for signing up to lead weeks? Yes. Yes. So, all right. Um, so there's that r4ds.io slash ps4ds. If you go there, there's the link to the GitHub repo. And there you can just edit the, the first page of the, of the GitHub repo has, um, in theory, it has a sign up list. Let me pull that up and make sure it's actually there. Uh, yes. So, um, so there's a meeting schedule, which I will be filling in a little more. But it's so you can see on the 17th, chapter one, part one, presenters TBD. If here, let me actually share this. Um, and you can see there's a little um, like pencil icon. When you click that, it brings up an editor, and you can just say, you know, that. And then when you save, um, you know, you can give it a description like signing up for chapter one or whatever. Uh, you won't have the option to commit directly to main. And actually I won't shortly because I need to turn on that protection. Um, it's, yes, I know it takes like learning uh, GitHub, maybe setting up an account, that kind of thing. But that's kind of part of what I'm trying to push people to do because it's not that hard uh, for this part. But if you have any questions with it, I know that, um, you know, a lot of people, especially depending where you are in your career, you may never have seen GitHub. Um, it's a useful skill to have. So just ping me or we have a channel all about GitHub, uh, help five GitHub open source on R4DS. If you need any help sorting that out, uh, just ask there and friendly people will help you do it. Um, I know the way we're doing these notes for these last couple of book clubs there, it's weird. It is kind of still an experiment because we're doing it like as a book that we do the, the presentation notes, but I like it. Um, it gives, it ties it all together. So you don't have to go to a bunch of different pages to see all the presentations, but it is an experiment. And if, if it's a pain, um, just let me know basically. <laughs> all right. Any other questions before we depart? You can always ask anything you know, in the channel. Um, I'll be posting the chat log there each week. Um, and I'll eventually be posting the YouTube links in there as well. All right. Oh. Um, one thing to mention, um, we already discussed this, that um, we're going to concentrate only on the R code, not the Python section. Um, because after all, as you said, this is R4DS. <laughs> yeah, like, depending where you are in your journey, uh, it's feel free to like really study the Python code and try to learn both. But if especially if you're just learning, trying to learn both is going to break your brain. It, start with one and you're on R4DS. So start with the R code. Um, if like that, you know, it might be something or a way to kind of start learning Python, but we're going to concentrate on the R. Okay. So John, are you, yeah. were you actually signing up for chapter one or are we actively um, looking for something? No. So uh, yeah, I'll do chapter one because then I can show you kind of how it works. Um, but if anyone, it, like it would be a good idea to start thinking about if you would like to do I mean, frankly, if you'd like to do chapter three, because um, Jonathan works for me, so chapter two is covered. <laughs> um, but yes, I mean, if you really want to do chapter two, let us know. But if not, that one's covered as well. All right. I will see everyone next week, and I will be talking about some of these uh, like basics of exploratory data analysis. See you then. Thank you very much. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.